So next speaker is going to discuss bringing creatures to life. Sung Hyun Lee is the creature supervisor at Industrial Light and Magic. He's an internationally recognized artist with over 25 years of experience in the film industry, creating visual effects for movies, commercials, and amusement park films. His work has been featured in 28 films, including Avatar, Harry Potter, Pirates of the Caribbean, Star Wars, The Revenant, and The Transformers. Or Transformers, sorry, no the. Joining Mr. Lee this evening is a special guest that I will hold off his name because... The library organized a contest uh, last month to encourage children in our community to develop written descriptions of creatures that we could showcase for this presentation. We were in so impressed with a number of the entries that it brought in, close to 100 children submitted their original ideas for this contest. We would like to thank all of those participants in the Creature Contest Challenge and recognize one in particular. The winner of the contest is one talented kid, Will Tolmy, age 12, comes from Del Mar Middle School. He submitted a poem that I will let him tell you about, and actually I won't even say this because he's going to say it. So we would like to thank him for his creativity and for sharing his talent with us. Please welcome Will Tolmy. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm going to read my poem, and it's called uh, Pitiler, which means helper in Latin. Fun fact. Um, so I'll start. Somewhere in the night grows a creature of sea foam and fame. One eye in the darkness, eight arms in the light, but only two legs to its name. The shell of the shell of a hermit, the gills of a trout, it'll eat anything and spit potting soil out. Receptors on fingers to find objects misplaced and the forked tongue of the snake. It can both smell and taste. Its feet like a duck, a steel trap webbed tight. But its ears microscopic using echolocation in the night. The tail dances softly with a hard rattling beat, and its spikes shoot out fumes that cool you down in heat. Its hair can turn red with devotion, like a kindled fire burning bright, and change with each emotion, like purple with fright. It may seem malignant and fueled by pure greed, but it helps everyone and fulfills every need. Thank you. Great job. Will told me. Okay, so now I'd like to welcome up Hung Hun Lee, and he will describe his creative process for us. Mr. Lee. Hi. Thank you so much for having me here. Told me, give me a really hard homework. <laughs> As you heard that, that his form is so beautiful and there's so much things. So I have an ability, if someone says something, I can draw and I can make a visual. That's my job. So that's why I got a creature supervisor. So maybe Dr. Michel maybe hire me. So you're a creature, so I'm the creature supervisor. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, when I got the, his poem, I keep thinking about how can I visualize about his text to some kind of creatures? So how does a creative process begin? For me, the creative process started with the imagining the story first. The story means he gave me the, all the like a text, all the uh, context, everything, but I have to make a story first. That is the giving its life. So first, he, the creature has a really scary, as he expressed, and then mm, helps to people. He loves to help people. But it's really unmatching. 
you know, scary, but helps people. So how can I solve that problem? So I got to keep thinking about this situation, and then I got a, a point to that how I created it. So I keep thinking about also why writer writing this way. Why writer wrote, like, created this creature. So he knows uh, about the creature is love of the people. So I kind of make the point that is, uh, he's lonely, scary, but helps. Mean it's kind of isolated place, birth. And then he have the hiding. And also it's really hard to find him. But also the girl have to be like finding his soulmate or some kind of friend. That's the creature. So that's the, my first place to start in drawing. So this is a kind of idea sketchy. I sketch a lot of things, a quick drawing, like a suburb drawing, like a really nine pencil drawing. And then finally I got this one. It's kind of, to me, it makes sense. Oh, maybe this story might be a little match to the, his form. After that, I research it because it, all the drawing is uh, like a black and white uh, sketch. But I have to find, I have an image in my mind, but I cannot find what's the right things. So I keep looking at all the papers, website, and then finding the image that close to my mind. That is kind of my image. So this one is kind of really close without creature, but it's kind of what I'm looking for. After that, I try to finalize the creatures. So creature is kind of, that one is I, you know, like a, start drawing for five or six hours. Maybe four hours, uh, I just drawing the tree. I can, I can make it any creatures, but after that is something pop up that and starting the drawing and within two hours like that. So I like it. So it's kind of close to his, uh, what he's described, like a eight arms and the heap, so body forms from the water and then lonely place, loves people. So I made the story about that is a, there is a, a girl who has a wheelchair, so he's lonely, she's lonely, but he, she has a soulmate. So that's the creature. So he, the creature is only meet her. She doesn't want to scare all the people, just like I met her, and then try to help and then play with her. So that's my main concept of the story. So that started it and then finalized the drawing. And after that, as I researched all the like, websites, images, the magazines, it's a try to finding the tone, the color is very important for the story. The, the color is kind of another the kind of weapon to describe or move to the mood of the story. So I set it up in the night, daytime, probably not scary, usually. <laughs> Ghost always in the nighttime. So that nighttime, there is a lake, and then the lonely girl always stop by here, finding his friend. So he come up with a really nice uh, like a combination of a color. It's really quick matching, like a drawing. So that's why I got the uh, concept drawing tone. That is uh, almost finalized my story. So after that, I'm going to finalize the, this drawing. So you see that all the like, uh, colors, you know, like uh, the moons, although like a really nice, uh, like a blended color is from the website, the, what I like I researched. But is it starting and then giving me the, like a, the, uh, the final images. So I started it and then coloring and then, then detailed all the creatures. I don't want to make it really scary, like a monster looking, so I make it a little bit cute <laughs> monster. <laughs> So also, it might be like a, the girl who might be like it. So finalizing the creating a creature is not just about creating a creature. It is more about creating life. 
One has to think more about what kind of creature is it, what kind of character he has, where he lives, how he feels. We have to think about his emotions. Once I understand these concepts, I can finalize the creatures. Making a creature and bring them to life is so much fun and inspiration. I can translate dream into a reality and I hope that what I accomplished with the real Thomas or uh, tutor. Thank you. Thank you, Hun Lee.